And so this is our lens image, just by clicking whichever one I wanted. And now I'll just close out of image editor and click Q for surface again. And now instead of default, we'll make a new surface called lens. And again, set the color to something bright just to check that uh, we have everything right. So then we'll click OK, and we have now a bright. So now as we zoom in again, uh, now we can select the ones that we missed previously. Press Q, uh, and in Lens, press OK. And now everything is selected. So we'll go to the Surface Editor, click Lens in the drop-down menu for Surfaces, and beside the color command over here, click T. And in the image drop down menu, we'll click lens.jpg. And we want it to automatically size. And we want to map it in the Z axis. So after we've mapped it like this, we'll click use texture. And since it's a lens, we want it to reflect the light. And so we want it to be glossy and have specular value and a little reflection. So now once you've got what you want, you can just uh, deselect all your polygons and check how your uh, screen and so check everything in your camera, your screen, and how your lens is looking. So now we're going to map the flash. So click one polygon, uh, the top one, and then press Q and make a new texture called flash now. And then just make it a light green maybe. Then in image editor, going to load. And now I've uh, imported my flash picture. And so now I'll close off image editor and go to surface editor. And as we did with the lens, We'll click the T and in image, click our flash picture and automatically size it. And we want it mapped in the Z axis as our lens was. And we notice here that it's a little too small. So we'll just make it a little taller and a little wider and then automatic size it. And then we'll click use texture. <clears throat> and you want it uh, pretty luminous with a little less diffuse and we want it to be glossy because it's the flash. So we'll close surface editor again now for our screen, we'll deselect everything, go to image editor, uh, load a picture that you want on your screen, say you just took a picture, close image editor, go to surface editor, screen, click the T, and in image, click the image that you wanted, and go to automatic sizing. And once you've decided that you want to use that, you just click Use Texture. And I don't want it to be specular or anything. I think that's great. So I'll close off the Surface Editor right away. Now for the rest of the camera. Well, for the buttons, uh, we'll select one polygon. Uh, click the right square bracket. That'll select everything. Click Q 
for texture or surface and type button and set the color to maybe a silver okay and then in surface editor we want it to be a uh, luminous but have lots and lots and lots of specular value and glossiness and some reflection not much and a little bit of transparency and we'll close off surface editor deselect everything and look at our button and as you can see it reflects light sort of looks weird because we haven't added the texture for the body of our camera yet so to add texture for the body of the camera Instead of making a whole new surface, we'll just rename the default surface. So in default, click rename as camera. Click OK. And then for the texture, we want a darker silver. OK. And we want to make it very luminous very specular very glossy and a little reflection like tiny bit of transparency and and if you ever decide that it's too glossy or too luminous or anything like that we can make it darker okay Or if that's too dark, we'll go to that. So there are a bunch of different colors that we could use. So I think that's a good color and I'll just close off surface editor. And there's our camera. So thank you for watching this tutorial. And now you can make a camera.